T. Clark here with the 2018 AP Computer Science A FRQ number 4A. This question involves reasoning about arrays of integers. You write two static methods, both of which are in the class name array tester. So the class, uh, the first method will be a get column that we're going to implement in part A. And this returns an array containing the elements of a column C of R2D in the same order as they appear in R2D. So the precondition is C is valid, and postcondition is R2D does not change. So R2D does not change at all. And then um, uh, everything else is for the next problem. So I can skip those for now and go to the directions for A. A says to write a method get column that um, returns a one-dimensional array containing the elements of a single column and a two-dimensional array. The elements in the returned array should be the same order as they appear in a given column. So notation R, 2D, R, C represents the array element at row R and column C, so the current element. The following code segment initializes an array and then calls get column. So I have an R, 2D, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 5, 3. And if I do get column on that R, 2D array, get column 1, it return the elements in index 1 column, column index 1. So one, four, seven, five in order vertically. And then get column uh, signature is the same as we've seen in the past one. So let's just get started. So get column, I've treated it over in my replet on the right. And everything is the same as what I just read. So first thing I need to do is I need to set up my result array. So I'm returning an integer array. So I want to set up the integer array with I just name it result. And it's going to be a new int or array, integer array. And the dimensions are going to be from the 2D array parameter. And it's going to be the number of rows. So dot length. So in this case, this example over here, I had four rows. It's Zero, one, two, three, so four rows. And then what I wanted to do is create a normal array with that same number of rows. And my own habits say return that result. So when I code and even when I write it out on uh, paper, I like setting up the result and at the bottom of the page, there's probably a lot of space in between. Um, I just write down return result. So I don't forget that because I sometimes forget to return result. So I do that for a well, second. I set it up first and then return it second. And I can fill in the blanks as I go. So as I go, I want to loop through the rows. So I'm going to say for r equals 0, r less than the number of rows, r plus plus. So that's just a normal matrix row setup. Get rid of all that extra space for now. And what I want to do is I'm going to copy into the result array. So result bracket R gets the value in the R, the current row, and the C. So this looks like a normal matrix current element, R, 2D, bracket R, bracket C. But you notice I only have a loop for R. I didn't loop through the C because C is my parameter up here. So I'm using my parameter C and I don't have to loop through the number of columns. So again, set up the result, same dimensions as the number of rows, loop through those rows, assign each result uh, value to the value from the R2D using the parameter C, and don't forget that to return the result. So that's 2018 APCSA FRQ number 4A.